Come in. Hey. Hey. Uh, Stephen and I are about to head out. Did you want to come stay the night with us? No, I'll be okay. Okay. Love you. Love you. left yet? Ready? In summary, Howard Holden leaves behind his positions and responsibilities at Holden Financial, which will be handed down to his daughter, Heather Lang, with Juno Lang, Howard's daughter-in-law, handling clientele management and outreach, and Anthony McCall, Howard's nephew, handling the day-to-day -day operations of the company, as well as all personnel management. The estate and all of Howard's belongings within it, including his vast car collection, are to be handed down to Howard's eldest daughter, Hannah.
However, it does explicitly say that the Corvette in particular be given to Hannah's husband, Stephen, to prevent it from getting crashed again. (laughs) (laughs) And, of course, Howard's $100 million fortune is to be spread equally between the parties mentioned below. Um, Hannah Adams, Heather Lang, Juno Lang, Anthony McCall, Bello McCall, and Harrison Holden. <laughs> Good luck getting a hold of Harrison. <sighs> Shit, if you tell him he's got a few million waiting for him, you'll get a hold of him real quick. All right. Well, I believe my work here is finished. If you need anything, you have my number. Feel free to give me a call. Thanks, Charles. Gracias, apagado. I got this. I'll walk you out, Charles. Oh, thank you, Bella. Take care, everyone. What do you think about the gay donuts place? Oh, man, you mean the jelly filled donuts, the cream ones, man? Thank you, Charles. You must be Bella. Detective McKenzie. Right. Yes, ma'am. And this is... Detective Detective Porter. Yeah, I know him. I wasn't sure you were going to take the case. Last I heard, you were on the fence about it. Well, we're here. I had toast for breakfast. No, you didn't. Can you tell me what I did have? That's not how it works. So, you can tell when I'm lying. What if I told you I had cereal? Then I'd say you're full of shit. (laughs) I love it. So, what do you guys, what do you guys know? Well, between the hours of 1 a.m. and 3 a.m., Howard Holden, your uncle, I presume? Yeah. Well, your uncle received uh, two deep cuts to his wrist, a deep cut to his throat, and uh, coroners are initially ruled in a suicide. After a reassessment of the wounds and uh, mass sums of money being withdrawn from his accounts got them changing their minds. No drugs in his system, just some alcohol. So you still think of a suicide? I think it's possible, yes, but uh, then again, that's why we're here. Do I have your confidentiality? Uh, maybe. I got a weird text the night he died, claiming to be from one of his daughters, but I have all their numbers saved. The text said Howard was dead. You called the cops to Howard's house that night. I did. Why didn't you tell the police any of this? I just did. You understand that's obstruction. Obstruction of justice. I know, I looked it up. Look, I didn't have anything to do with Howard's murder. I was in Boston probably brushing my teeth or something. Look, I'll be honest, I didn't care for the guy. He was an ass. But I do care for my cousins. I'm sorry, I, I should have come forward with everything I knew. So why didn't you? Well, I just thought a regular detective might do enough digging and find their answer and run with it if they knew. Like I said, I care about my cousins. I think they're in danger. Does anyone else know about his ability? No, just me. I mentioned your name once, but no one even noticed. Hannah wasn't in the room, but I doubt she knows anything about you. She's a corporate lawyer. All right, I have a flight at one. Feel free to call me if you need anything, preferably after the flight. Hello? Thank you for your help. Yes, this is she. Did she lie? Not once. This is a good one. Come on, man, aren't you excited? To go in there and tell them one of them killed their father? You see, that that right there's your problem. You find the negative in this situation. It's, it's amazing, honestly. Sorry for seeing it how it is. Well, maybe come at it from a different angle. This is your first case back from paid leave. It's a classic who done it. That's got to be exciting. We go in. We ask questions. One of them lies. We make an arrest. Yeah, well, I guess knowing when someone's lying does take the detective out of being a detective. Well, any guesses? I haven't met them yet, Mac. Oh, one second. Sure, sure. Hey. Hi. Um, so I talked to Steven and we're gonna help you pay for the rest of school. We wanna help you any way we can. 
Thanks, Hannah. Of course. Hey, don't take it personal. Dad was a jerk. And Hannah. On I just got cheated out of literally millions of dollars. Can I just be mad for a little while? Okay. Familia. You're 21 now, right? I turned 24 this year, Anthony. When? Officers. All right, all right, all right. Let's get this party started. I'll keep it brief. My name is Dexter McKenzie, and this is my partner, Dexter Porter. Um, in case you guys don't know why we're here. We know why you're here. Okay. <clears throat> well, look, we're trying to get a better understanding of the night how Holden died. I was told you guys would play nice and comply, right? Okay, I'll take that as a yes. Officers, with all due respect... Hey, wow, what? They're detectives, Callum. Okay, sorry. Detectives, Howard died a week ago. Why did the coroners change their minds all of a sudden? New information. What new information? Oh, he's just a doctor. He's just looking for specifics. The cuts weren't jagged enough to be self-inflicted. He would have been in too much pain to make cuts like that. Oh, Jesus. Nice, dude. Really nice. I'm, I'm sorry. So, you're implying that one of us killed Howard? We just want to know a little more about Howard. You know, type of business he ran, family, friends, etc., etc. Okay, we have a warrant to be here. So, the sooner you guys help us out, the sooner you guys can get back to... Morning. Okay, anyone want to go first? All right, let the record show. Today is June 15th. We are in Howard's guest house with Howard's daughter-in-law, Juno Lane. <clears throat> okay, let's cut to the chase. Where were you the day Howard Holden died on June 8th? Okay, well, the family had a get-together that night, and I had a flight the next morning, so I came early. What time? Around 5.30. Anyone else there that early? No, sir. Just us. I take it you two were pretty close. Not to be rude, I just think it's weird that Howard's daughter-in-law was written to the will. <laughs> no, uh, I understand. I loved Howard. I met him a little before Callum and Heather got married. You said you had to catch a flight. Where were you going? Oh, Poland. Poland? Mm-hmm. Holden Financial has a client in Warsaw, so I flew out there to talk over some things. Diplomacy. <laughs> How was it? Oh, it was amazing. You get any pictures? It was all business for the most part. I fly back next month, so hopefully I'll see more of the sights then. I'm sure your brother was very jealous. <laughs> yes. Callum has already stopped speaking to me. Did Howard have many friends? Hmm, <laughs> not really. Could you elaborate a little more? I mean, he was a workaholic. Outside of his family, he didn't really have anyone. Do you think he may have been depressed at all? No, not at all. Him and I worked really closely. I knew he was never lonely or anything. Would you say your relationship with Howard was good? Good is a weird word to use. I would say it was all right. Just all right? My dad was a hard ass, I guess. I mean, I wouldn't hold that against him, but he just held me to such a high standard. It was like he wanted me to succeed him or something. I didn't really get to live my life until maybe three years into college. It was like he wanted me to be his heir. And I was just supposed to be okay with that. Like, that was my life. You didn't end up working for him though. No. 
I told him that I wanted to uh, go to law school after I got my bachelor's. And he was disappointed, but he said he was proud of me. But then it was like I wasn't even important to him anymore. It was Heather's turn to be there. That's such bullshit. Hannah was always dad's favorite. She got in trouble like once, if that. She crashed dad's Corvette. She thought he said she could take it out when actually he said she could take it out of the garage. Hannah wanted to drive it to school. I drove it down the street and into our neighbor's Range Rover, yes. Bad? Really bad. I mean, the car was fine, honestly. We got it fixed, but I've never seen Dad so angry. Well, there was this one time. Him and Harrison got into a nasty argument the day that Harrison moved out. Harrison? He's my brother. Uh, he and Heather are twins. Where is he at now? We don't exactly know. We haven't heard from him since he moved out. Can you tell us a little more about the night Howard died? What was the vibe like? Um, well, it was a pretty standard gathering for our family. Anthony showed up late, left late. Juno spent the night flirting outrageously with my dad. Uh, did anything happen between them that night? Yeah. Yeah, there was an argument. About what? I'm not certain of this, I just... Okay. Dad was upset because I think Juno offered Stephen a job. Uh, Stephen is Hannah's husband, right? Yeah, they're both corporate lawyers. I guess Juno didn't consult Dad beforehand. I didn't hear everything, but dad said he couldn't believe Juno would go behind his back like that. And Juno swore she wouldn't do it again. That's all I heard. Okay, um, here, let's uh, pivot for a second. Heather worked at uh, Holden Financial and is now the head of the company. Did Howard offer you any positions in the company? Yeah, I declined it. Why? I'm a uh, in school, studying for an art degree. I just wasn't interested in economics or finance. And how did Howard take the denial? He, uh, he hit me. Like a slap or? Uh, there were punches and kicks. Were there any witnesses? No one that would tell you. There was no punching or kicking. She showed us pictures. She had that done to her from another girl at school. She came home, told dad, and he grounded her. So what, did Haley lie? She made the whole thing up because she was pissed off at dad. How the hell is she still holding on to this? No. No, dad never hit her. Or any of us. Haley called me in tears. She asked if she could stay with me and Steven for a few days. She said that dad beat her. But Heather swears that he didn't lay a finger on her. You trust Heather? I, honestly, no. But Haley tends to exaggerate from time to time. You don't trust your own sister? Why is that? Yeah, Dios mia. Those two have never gotten along. Mm-mm. I don't know why they don't trust each other. I mean, Haley's the liar of the family. I take it you've heard the story of Howard beating her? <sighs> Howard did not beat her, okay? She probably mouthed off, and he probably lightly slapped her. You know, like a, like a, like a, uh, or a, oh, uh, yeah, ugh. Harrison and Haley were duendes, you know, brats. Hannah took care of her own business and didn't complain much. Heather was un duende too, but Howard spoiled her. Still did right up until he died, and then spoiled her in the will. So, why did Haley get cut out of the will, but not Harrison? 
I, chances are he forgot. I mean, hell, my parents damn near forgot Bella in the will. We had to get our lawyer working overtime just to get her cut. Both your parents passed? Same day, one year apart. Mom from cancer and then dad from a heart attack. That must have been hard for you and Bella, I'm sorry. I appreciate that. If you don't mind me asking, how was uh, your mother's relationship with Howard? I mean, the family business was Howard and Mama's thing, and then it became Howard's thing, you know? So tell Do you me hold about... that against Howard? No, 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 absolutely not. No, I, no, Mama, she wasn't cut out for the business, you know? I, I, I completely understand from Howard's perspective why you, why you had to cut her out. Mis padres estás locos. Están. And it's past tense, so it's estaban. I met Heather in college. When did you uh, graduate med school? 2020. And you married Heather the year after? Yes. Anything weird happened at the party? Nothing weird. Um, Hannah and I just kept to ourselves mostly. So I wouldn't know. What is that? It was pretty standard. Howard, for whatever reason, doesn't, or I guess didn't, like it when we talked about the trips we went on. He would change the subject, especially when he was drinking. He drank a lot? Yeah, that night he was. Something special about that night? Nah, it's just that when Anthony's around, he just keeps pouring drinks. Howard wasn't a heavy drinker, but he wouldn't turn down a drink either. Any weird interactions between them? Uh, like I said, I couldn't really tell. Do you uh, go on business trips a lot? Yes, almost once a month. You go anywhere outside the country? <laughs> no, nowhere that cool. Um, just got back from Vermont the day before last. You and Howard didn't get along? I, uh, I used to send pictures to Hannah of the places I went to, and she'd get jealous. I think Howard thought I was persuading her away from the family business. He was against us being together. He even tried to stop me from proposing to her. Wow, that's extreme. That's what I said. But Hannah, she didn't think so. I guess she thought it was like a father-daughter thing. Uh, I don't know. Please don't tell any of this to Hannah. It might upset her. What else can you tell us about Hannah's relationship with her sisters? She, she loves her sisters, really. It's just, her relationship with Heather is not great. Hannah has done everything she can to reach out or rebuild their relationship, but Heather's just not responsive. And Haley? Uh, Haley and Hannah have always gotten along. Uh, she even stayed with us after her mother passed away. And then after the whole... Yeah. <clears throat> Very different from Heather then. Yeah, I don't know. I think Heather holds a grudge. I think she thought that Hannah was disrespecting Howard's legacy by turning down the job offer. All right, let's get this out of the way. Did you have anything to do with the murder of Howard Holden? <laughs> no. 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 Oh, just me. No. 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 How dare you ask me that? I loved Howard. Fucking audacity. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, Juno. We have to ask. I'm sorry. Oh, she's a loose cannon. So, who is it? None of them. None of them lied about killing Howard. So what? Bella just lied to us? Why would she do that? So that we dig deeper. None of them lied about Howard but they all lied about something. 
Howard withdrew 15 million the day he died. Well, maybe he knew someone was after him. Maybe no one here actually killed him. Yeah, but why would he be tied up with people like that? Doesn't he work for an investment company? Could be a ticked off client or something. The withdrawal may not have been related to the death at all. Let's talk to Heather again. Let me ask some questions this time. What, what do you Just mean? Just go get her. I'm gonna go make a call. Did they ask you guys about Harrison? I didn't know what to say. I just kind of changed the subject. He asked me if I killed Howard. Pretty sure he asked all of us that. Hey, Lee. Did you tell them that dad hate you? Heather, stop. I'm just saying, I want them to have real information. This was five years ago. It's in the past. I'm not gonna let her go around and shit talk dad like that. Wow. You're such a hero. Can't believe you still won't let this go. I can't believe you're still so full of shit. Whoa! Haley, come on. Watch your fucking mouth. Why? Daddy's not here to protect you now. Heather, hey, it's not- Fuck off, Kelly. Haley, it's okay. Nobody thinks- Stop that. treating me like that. Like what? Like a fucking wounded animal! Ugh. Okay, everyone. Let's just take a deep breath. Why are you even here? Don't you have a client to sleep with or something? Whoa, hey, that was on my god, guys. Everybody just calm down. Uh, could we uh, borrow Heather again? Dios mío. Okay, that you don't speak Spanish. Hey, got your message. Who am I looking up again? Helena. Yeah, Helena Holden. Howard's wife? Helena Holden. You needed the autopsy report, right? Yeah, I need her cause of death. Okay. Overdose, sleeping pills. Um, looks like she'd taken about 40 milligrams of lorazepam. Jesus Christ. I can't find a prescriber listed anywhere on the bottle. I bet it wasn't prescribed at all. That's fine. Could you pull the books from the company? Yeah, sure can. How's your new partner? He's, uh, he's something. Can you pull up all wire transfers and employment histories? Yep. You gotta work with him, Porter. He knows his stuff. Yeah. Okay, so last wire I see is a $15 million transfer from the company to a Western Ministries bank. There's at least $10 million in undocumented profits every pay period. But what the fuck? <laughs> I mean, if this is laundering, it's laundering like I've never seen before. I mean, I mean, this is in plain sight. Wait, let me... There. Xavier Harding lent $15 million to Holden for investments and returned $15 million back. $15 million back to Harding, but then that's another $15 million wired to that bank. So the clients paid them twice? Or... No, they paid them once, but they paid $30 million. Holden only reported $15 million. There it is again. Eight million back to the client and another eight to that bank. <laughs> Porter, this is laundering. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Dinner reservations. Heather, correct me if I'm wrong, but you do marketing research for Holden Financial? Yeah, that's right. Could you walk me through a typical day for you? Um, I just sit at a desk and run numbers all day. I research stocks and find investments that will best benefit our clients. How much do you bring in every year? What, like profit? Yeah, how much money does the company bring in? <laughs> I mean, I don't have the figures in front of me. Estimate? A few million? A few million. <laughs> like I said, I, I don't have the numbers in front of me. 
um, like uh, 15 million last year. Any foreign clients? Not unless you count Canada. We count Canada. Okay then. Um, yeah, we have a few clients in Vancouver. Okay. Um, I think we're done. Can you send Haley back in here? Yeah, I'll tell her. Thanks, Heather. Vancouver's a long way from Poland. Crazy, huh? You look nervous. Stevie, loosen up a little, huh? Stop looking so guilty. Do I look guilty? Uh, you don't look innocent. Hey! No drinking. What? Why? Because you talk too much when you drink. <laughs> oh my god. Where's Haley? Uh, office, I think. Okay. Dude, she doesn't know what she said. I'm sorry. So you think she's just lying to them? Oh. Hey, um, do the Texas want to see you again, Haley? Okay. I can't just have a second to process anything. I know. I just feel bombarded with stuff. It's like, I can't even be sad for a few minutes. Yeah. <laughs> I, um, I saw Isaac at a coffee shop the other day. Oh, how is he? I don't know. I didn't talk to him. I was a Steven. I, uh, I regret doing that to you. You two were together for six years and I was just thinking for myself. Yeah, it's, it's okay. Thank you. I mean, it's not my fault he cheated, but it's my fault for going through with it, I guess. I appreciate it. It means a lot coming from you. Did you tell Steven not to take the job? What job? Juno offered him a job at Holden and he declined it. Did you tell him not to accept it? Juno offered him a job? Yeah, she put her own job on the line and he declined it right to her face. No, but I would've. Why? Are we so horrible? Was Dad so horrible? No, but he was- oh, he was the reason you turned your back on us. Dad was the reason I turned my back on all of you. He practically removed me from the family. Because you rejected any attempt he made to keep you in it. I am not having this argument with you again. Why not? Because you know I'm right? No, because you are so wrong that it's painful. Just because I wanted to do something for myself instead of being a trust fund kid my whole life, I, I hate my family. Trust fund kid? Do you have any idea how much we've given up to be where we are? To have what we have? No. No, Heather. You have lied and cheated to get where you are, just like you always have. And if family meant anything to you, then you would talk to your other sister. Or God forbid, your brother! Harrison moved out a little after Mom died. Harrison and Mom were as close as you could get. Harrison blames Dad for her death. Oh, she uh, died of an overdose. What was this? 2020. She had, uh, she'd been taking sleeping pills. And they found 10 times her dose in her system. Did you hear the argument they had? Sort of. Uh, Harrison told Dad that Mom's death was his fault. Dad told him he was just high. Then there was some scuffling and the door slammed. Howard told Harrison he was high? Yeah. Okay. 
and no one spoke to Harrison since then. Not that I'm aware of. Is Heather actually employed at Holden Financial? Is she in the books? No. I think you're good, Haley. Thanks. Haley. Is Stephen having an affair? No. Nope, Stephen would never hurt Hannah. He loves her. Okay, let's call it in. We're not done. What else is there to do? Look, if your lie detecting truth reading ability actually does work, then none of them killed Howard. We should just dip and leave the money line into the FBI. No, I've got it. Look, man, if there's something you know that I don't, you need to tell me. I mean, seriously, do you think one of them actually called a hit on Howard? Maybe. It's impossible to find out when you don't let me ask questions. What are you saying? It doesn't matter. Look, man, I know I'm not no Sergeant Kyle, but- You're right. You're not. We're in the middle of a money laundering case when we're supposed to be here to solve a murder. We were called here to find the scheme, Mac. Please tell me you have sense enough to see that. We are not done. We need to connect all the people involved or they'll walk. What's so important about getting this right? Let me get it right. Then we'll talk. You do what you want. I'm gonna go talk to Anthony. Maybe know the thing or two about Haley and Kyle the will. Clark. Hey, it's Porter. I have your number saved. Can you get me in touch with Howard's lawyer? <laughs> Which one? What? The one who helped him write his will? Or the one who read it? Hey. Everything okay? Why didn't you tell me that Juno offered you a job? I was going to when I came back from Vermont, but you were going through so much and I just know how everything was and I just didn't want to add any more stress to you. You lied. I hid something from you, yes. But I didn't take the job, Hannah. I didn't think it would be that big of a deal if I didn't take it. Hey, Hannah, I wouldn't lie to you. I love you. I promise I wouldn't lie to you. Okay. Hey, Detective Mac, right? Uh, yeah, one sec. I, I was just thinking, do you know where uh, Howard's autopsy was performed? Because I know a great coroner on Fifth Street, and what? he could give it another look. You know, just second opinion. Uh, thanks, Cal, I'm sure. Uh, I but... think they could have incorrectly labeled it as a possible murder. <laughs> I mean, we see shallow gashes on suicidal patients all the time, Callum, and... go be with your wife. We're pretty much done here. Hey, Detective! She needs closure. She's not sleeping. I got her some pills from our pharmacy, but she won't take them because of her mom. I suggest therapy, but... Shit. Yep, thank you for your time, Charles. Anthony and Howard changed the will that night to cut Haley out. Did you pull Helena's autopsy? What? The mom ported the mom. Did you pull her autopsy? Howard's wife? 
Yeah, I pulled it when I pulled the books from the company. Shut up, shut up, shut up, man. Clark? Hey, on Helena's autopsy, she overdosed on sleeping pills, right? Yes. Who prescribed them? Uh, I don't know. The bottle didn't have a label. What about her other prescriptions? <sighs> One sec. It's... Dr. Callum Lang. They were all prescribed by Callum Lang. You're such a snake, Juno. What, because I tried to do my job? Your job is to maintain clients' investments. You just wanted my dad's attention. <laughs> like you haven't stepped on someone's toes to get on dad's good Shut side. Shut up, Heather! Fuck you! Whoa, easy. You need to grow the hell up. Okay, is that what you call spitting in dad's face? Growing up? You wouldn't understand. You're too busy kissing his ass to even think for yourself. I show interest in dad's work, and that makes me the bad guy. Ah, there's the victim card. Speaking of spitting in Howard's face, you'd know all about that, wouldn't you? Oh, excuse me? You are so oh, far so out of like line. They know. I can't even believe you would say that. You know what, Haley? Screw you. You've always been such a conniving little brat, mooching off of the money Howard brought in. You never even did anything in return. You never even thanked him. Oh, is that what we're calling it now? This is so depressing. Watching you struggle to justify taking money right out from under him. So you could go do whatever you wanted to behind his back. Stop pretending like you ever gave a shit about him. How dare you? I loved every inch of your father. Oh. I would have been honored to be part of his family. And had I been, I sure as hell wouldn't have been a useless fucking art school dropout wasting away his money knowing damn well I would have never lived up to my sisters. I would have never disrespected him the way you do! Is that why you went to Vermont instead of going to the funeral? I went to Vermont to do the job he hired me to do! Pull it! Sorry. Could I see your phone, Juno? When we came inside, you were showing Steven pictures of your trip. Can I see them? We have a warrant, we could just- WAIT! I can't believe this. We pulled the books from Holden Financial. <laughs> the books. You pulled the book. You have a warrant? Huh? For what? We're under investigation for a murder and you haven't made a single arrest yet. So... So what the hell are you going to do with your warrant? You have no idea who killed Howard, do you, Capron? The warrant isn't for Howard's murder. Anthony, who killed Howard? No, no, don't look over there. Look at me. Who killed Howard, Anthony? Howard changed his will the night he died. Why? What could possess a man to do that? Well, he hated that little shit. She wasn't going to get a single cent from him. Harrison did. But you knew Haley found out about your scheme. About what happened to her mom. You tried to frame her. <laughs> or, it was changed after his death by a crooked lawyer. Perhaps the same one that got Bella written back into your parents' will. But not Charles. Because Charles hadn't spoken to Howard in two years prior to his death. Out of moves already, Cabron? I wouldn't try running. There's at least eight squad cars on the way. Shit. Don't talk to anyone else until we talk to a lawyer. Callum, shut the hell up.
You told us about your brother moving out, your mom and dad dying. You haven't shed a single tear until just now. Sometimes it's just too much. I know how you feel. You knew about Steven and Juno and lied to us about it. Am I going to go to jail for that? No. It's just interesting how you sold out Heather without hesitation but lied to keep Hannah safe from being hurt. You look up to her. How she succeeded without his help. That's obvious, but what I really want to know is why you sold out Heather. Can you just tell when someone's lying, or is this all speculative? I'd say there's no reason left for you to lie. Dad washed money. That's what his whole company is based on. Heather manages the books and fabricates all the numbers. That's her whole job. Her Anthony and Juno they take their clients' money and put it in with the clean profits. Then Dad would withdraw the money every few months. Then Dad would pay it out to the clients for a cut of the money. Hmm. And when Howard asked you to be part of it, you said no. I didn't know about it back then. When did you find out? I don't know, uh, a few months ago. Maybe I shouldn't have said no, I just... I wanted to prove that I could do it myself. That I didn't need him or his money, that I could be like Hannah. I didn't care about his respect, but I wanted hers. You feel like you made a mistake. I don't know. In retrospect, I guess not. Me and my old partner, his name was Kyle. We were tracking this drug dealer that every cop in the city was after. Long story short, we tracked him down to a house. Kyle said we should just call it in, wait for backup, but then this guy walks out onto his front porch, lights his cigarette, and sits down. The most sought-after drug dealer in the city, alone on his porch. I told Kyle we should just go and scoop him up. I thought it'd be a golden fucking opportunity. But Kyle trusted my decision making, my intuition, so I won the argument. The second, the fucking second we stepped foot out of that car, six guys from behind the house started shooting at us. Kyle didn't make it out. I got four months of paid leave and I didn't know if I'd see my badge again. I didn't know if I wanted them to give it back to me, but... I made a call, and it was the wrong call. Kyle paid for it, and I got paid leave. You said his name was Kyle? Like Sergeant Kyle? That's him. He was investigating Mom's death, but they took him off because- Because I would requested someone else. He thought something seemed off, so he kept digging. And Howard claimed he wasn't giving the family enough room to grieve. So they brought in someone else. Kyle was good. He was smart. Well, uh, I'm sure he'd be happy to know that you're still carrying on for him. Yeah. I won't ever get to tell him how sorry I am and I gotta live with it. But moving forward is how we survive. We make decisions every day and every decision has consequences. But your dad, your dad was not a good man. You made a choice not to bind your legacy to his. 
Whether or not you knew what his legacy was doesn't make a difference. You made the right call, even if you made it for a different reason. I know Harrison called you the night Howard died. I know Heather found out, told your dad. Your father was a dangerous man. Harrison tried to warn you, and you found out the hard way. Now, the only way I can get you out of this is if you tell me right now whether or not he attacked you first. I know it may be painful to recollect what happened, but if you want to get out of jail time, I need you to tell me everything. My mom. I know. I'm sorry. What are you doing? Morning. too sure of her involvement yet, but uh, she should cooperate. Got it. The house is surrounded. Mm -hmm. Give me a call if you need anything else. Yeah. Okay, thanks. What's that? A self-defense story. <sighs> you knew it was her this whole time. Howard made it a habit to kill people who tried to turn him in. Even his wife. Harrison didn't move out. He ran. And Haley fought back. She freaked out, made it look like a suicide. Warrants for those four? Uh, yeah. Connecting Calvin to the mom was a Hail Mary in its own right, but it helped prove the, the connections. Mac, you did a hell of a job today. Thanks, man. I should have told you sooner, I just... Nah, man, um, they didn't get right with the mom, and you knew that. Kyle knew that. I just wanted to come at it from a different angle. Man, we really tore this family apart today, didn't we? You know, I think we may actually have just rebuilt it. <laughs> Shit. What's up? Uh, call in one more warrant for Haley. The worst day of her life just got a little worse. Clark. Hey, it's me again. Can you do me one more favor? Depends on what it is. <sighs> You're not gonna like it. Oh my god, what? Would it be possible to grant Haley house arrest? <sighs> Are you kidding me? Right now we have 30 FBI agents pointing guns at the house and you want me to tell them to just, what, hold off? Yes.
10, 12, stand down. I repeat, do not enter the house. Hey, can you tell her that? I'll only be a minute. Heather will face at least one count of laundering, fraud, and a heap of tax evasion charges. Anthony and Juno will face laundering plus accessory to commit fraud. Anthony will probably get a forgery charge or two. And Callum, Callum will face facilitation charges for the murder of your mother. I'm sorry. The justice system failed you and your family regarding the death of your mother. Your father was more than likely the one who orchestrated it. And Heather likely knew about it. I'm sorry. I know who you are. What you can do. Can you do me a favor? Anna, look, it was just a one time thing. I promise. Did you know? Just... What? Did you know what my dad was doing? No. When Juno offered you the job, did you know? No, of course, I would have told you. Did you know? No, I, I had no idea. Juno didn't mention it. Hannah, I promise- Get the fuck out of my house! Go! And don't you dare touch that fucking Corvette! Haley. What? No, she was acting in self-defense. Hannah, it's okay. I'm sorry. It wasn't my intention to arrest your whole family tonight. Okay. I love you. I love you too. Hey man, uh, Steven just... He's clean. You got house arrest for Haley? Yeah, made a few calls. Figured she, uh, been through enough already. Yeah. Nice. <sighs> so what now? Now, we get the hell out of here. I actually did make dinner reservations. <laughs> so, uh, was you know actually sleeping with Howard Man? Oh,
Send her in. He made it. How was your flight? You mean the one you put me on against my will? It's called detainment. It's what happens when you don't follow the law. You lied to Porter and Mac. You think I'm stupid? I don't know. I mean, you haven't exactly impressed me thus far. Lying to Porter wouldn't be a very smart idea. Now would it? Hmm. You knew exactly how to do it, though, right? So what do you know that I allegedly didn't tell you? Well, I know about the Shell account in New Mexico. I know of about 12 clients that have invested with Holden Financials for the purpose of laundering. And I know that you are at least somewhat aware of why Harrison left home. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just, I really thought you would have had this wrapped up by now. I guess I shouldn't have assumed that you would be smart enough to put the pieces together. After all, you didn't think anything was up when you reassigned Sergeant Kyle. All day. All fucking day. I have been on the phone with your cousin, trying to assure her that I'm doing everything I can to keep Haley out of jail. Hannah's just lost a father, a sister, and a husband just this month. Haley's facing jail time? I'm bound by the law to lock Haley up if I can't put all of this shit on Howard. Then Hannah will have nobody left. And on top of all that, looks like Juno is probably gonna walk. Probably gonna run off with Stephen and her money. What do you wanna know? You were right. She can be reasonable. You can come in now. Harrison? Hola, Pima. Okay, here's what I need from the two of you. I need every shred of information you have about Howard's business and his death. Now, Haley's not off the hook just yet because as of right now, Callum is the murderer of Helena Holden, not Howard. And Porter's testimony might not be enough to win over the jury. If we can somehow pin this murder on Howard and prove that his attack against Harrison wasn't just a domestic dispute, Haley will walk free. Any questions? Good. I'll get us some coffee. How's Boston? Cold as shit. How's Alaska? Beautiful. 